Hello, boys and girls. My name is Willy the Whistling Duck. Can you all say hello, Willy the Whistling Duck? That's terrific. Hello, everyone. I'm a whistling duck. Actually, my full name is the Lester Whistling Duck because when I talk to my ducklings, it sounds like I'm whistling. Ducklings are baby ducks. Aren't they cute? Whistling ducks like us can be seen and heard on wetlands around our beautiful green country. Singapore is a city in nature. We share a home with the many people, animals, and trees that can be found here. All of us can live together because we each do things that help one another. Do you know what you can do to make our city a comfortable place to live in? Let's find out together. Do you think we should do this or this? No, please do not feed Singapore's wildlife and birds. We can feed ourselves. We get our food from our natural home, and when wild animals eat fruits and seeds, our natural home can keep growing. It is better for you too. Would you like me to do this? Give me food! Give me food! No! If you give us food, we'll come to you for food all the time. So, do not leave food behind for us. Not even here. What do you think will happen if you leave food here? Yes, birds, rats, and cockroaches will eat the food. And guess what? They will leave their poop behind. The poop is not only dirty and smelly, but also unhygienic. It may also spread diseases and make people and other animals sick. Do you want that? No? So remember, do not feed us. We can feed ourselves. We can eat all the delicious food in the forest. And when some animals eat in the forest, they leave the seeds behind. These seeds drop onto the ground and grow into this. The new trees and plants provide fresh food for our native animals. This way, we can feed ourselves forever! <laughs> There's also one other thing you can do to make our lives easier. Shall I tell you what it is? What do you think just happened? That's right! The dog barking scared my ducklings away. Wild animals like us get confused when people bring their pets into our homes, in the nature parks and nature reserves. Can you guess why? Wow! They are fantastic answers! Actually, there are a few reasons why we get confused. Let me ask you a question. If you came home from school and you found me sitting on your bed, wouldn't you be confused and maybe a little scared? Of course you would, because it is your home. So when your pets come into our homes, we may run away and not come back. And we are native animals. This means we have been living here for a long time. Natural spaces like these are our only homes. We cannot live in apartments like you. We have to live here. So we need our space. That means pets like your dogs belong here. And wild animals like me belong in the wild. If your pets get too close to wild animals, this could happen. Look how frightened they are. Is that what you want? No, exactly. We all need our space to live peacefully in this city in nature. And we need to find our own food. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get back to my ducklings. Bye everyone! <laughs>